Welcome back everyone. Today I want to show you how to do a floating high directional anchor. Okay. And it's probably going to be a long video because there's multiple skills involved. But that's good. It'll show you how to do many different things. Okay. So what am I talking about when I say Floating high directional anchor. Okay, um, what I'm drawing here are trees. And a floating anchor is an anchor that's not tied directly to something. It's going to be floating in between two fixed objects. Now, this could be, you know, parts of a building, beams, what have you. But in this case, I'm going to go with these two walnut trees okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have an anchor somewhere in between these two trees you know so say I want it right here and you know I'm gonna have a pulley the carabiner and then that rope's gonna go over there down to the base tie it off it's gonna go over this other limb down here tied off okay and then another rope will go through this pulley and you know here could be your victim what have you you're getting up the cliff or what have you okay now I want to show you a down and dirty way of doing this um, because you could if you wanted to do calculations do the Pythagorean theorem you know find out how far your anchors from each tree and do a do a tri right triangle and figure hypotenuse and all that kind of stuff but uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it to where it's adjustable so you can do it you don't have to think about it you just get it in place where it needs to go because um, you may have a narrow opening here to where you can shoot this high anchor okay there might be other trees you know around and you got a narrow slot to get through okay all right hope that chicken scratching makes sense but it's gonna make sense when I show you how to do this okay all right I'm gonna put this away and let's get to work okay so I've got a tree here and a tree here if you look up there's a natural fork up there and there's the same thing over here and what I need to do is get both ends of my rope over both of those limbs okay and so um, I've got a throw bag a throw rope, throw rope and I gotta get over that okay I gotta do it from both sides And if you don't know how to do this, I have videos on this. So I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a long video anyway, so I'm just gonna cruise through. And my dog's barking at something. Okay, so hopefully I can hit this, it's not too high. Let's get this over here so I don't know. All right, perfect. Okay. All right, so I got it over the limb. Now I've got my rope I'm using my anchor with. And what I'm going to do with this is the way I've coiled it, I have access to both ends, which is important. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to, this is my center. This is important too. I'm going to lay this out to where my two ends are. And I'm just going to lay it down. Okay. Get my ends out of there. Now this is my center, and what I'm going to do here is just tie a butterfly. 
okay and once again if there's any skill in here that you're not familiar with look at my videos and you'll see that uh, I have a video on it okay so I'm gonna take one of these ends and we'll just do a simple clove hitch half hitches make sure she doesn't come off okay at this point I can pull this end over that crotch okay so Okay, now for the sake of time, I'm going to show you how to do one side. I'm probably going to stop the video because it's identical to the other side. Okay, so. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to. This small line will get tangled on anything, so I want to get it out of my way. Okay, so I can put that back there. And let's just get this rope, this line out of my way. Otherwise, what you'll find is it'll tangle on everything. Okay. All right, now, let me get a couple more pieces of equipment. All you're gonna need is, to make this adjustable, is a prusik loop and a carabiner. Okay. Okay, but we need to tie a basal anchor first. Okay, and the, and the whole key to this is, now you could terminate this if you weren't picky about where your high point was. But we're going to assume we have to be highly detailed on where this is going to end up. So we want adjustability on both sides. Okay, so I'm going to pull some rope. And I'm going to wrap this tree. And I'm going to do a basal anchor, a bowling on a coil. And, and I'm just going to go through it. Because I do have a video on this. If you want to learn how to do this. This is a very stable anchor. Okay, we'll do one more. Okay. I'll bring this rope up to the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna take this, form a bite, flip it over, stick it underneath my three coils okay I'm gonna do a snap bowling right here sticks his tail through here and set it okay so there's my anchor and that's not going to, as rough as this bark is and how tight that is, it won't move. Okay. Pull a little more slack. And what I want to do is just tie a figure eight on the bite or a directional eight, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. I'm going to put a carabiner in that. And. On the rest of the rope, I'm just going to tie a simple triple wrapped prusik. And this is where your adjustability is going to come into play. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with just one prusik, you can use two. You can use tandems. 
but uh, okay so at this point I am anchor on the tree carabiner and I've got a way to adjust the length of this which is going to be important when we get our high directional up there okay all right so next we're going to do the exact same thing to this other tree okay and for the sake of time I'm going to stop the video here and go ahead and do that because it's no different than what you see right here. And then I'm going to show you how to adjust everything. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. We got the other side done. It was identical to what we did on the first one. Okay. So right now we have two anchors. We have the rope going over limbs in a tree. And we have our floating anchor still on the ground and we need to get it up in the air to where we need it to go. Okay. So <clears throat> what's important is before you start raising this is to get the pulley and the rope you're going to be using to go over the edge in place. Otherwise you'll won't be able to reach it. Okay. So I'm going to use this <clears throat> orange rope for that. Okay, so we're going to find our butterfly we tied, which is right here. And we're going to hook up our carabiner with a pulley in it. And find our end. Close that. And pull enough out. And what you can do at this point is. Uh, find your short end and just come over here and just tie it to something. Okay, and we'll just do a simple clove hitch. That way we don't uh, have our rope fall out of the pulley. Okay, now it's just a matter of getting this in the air. And again, this is our adjustability right here. Okay. So if we raise this up, okay, I'm going to stop there, make sure that's set, and then we can come over here, and okay, so if I were wanting to the center it right in the middle, step back here and take a look. You know, that's about right. Okay. So again, keep in mind too that once you weight this, uh, all the stretching the rope is going to come into play. Everything you're going to lose a couple feet or so. Okay. Uh, but at this point. I've got a high directional. Okay, now the beauty of this system though is that you can adjust it. So, you know, let's pretend that our opening is way over here, way over here to the left. Okay, it's just a simple matter of literally two guys, uh, or you can do it by yourself, but two guys makes it really easy. Um, just take slack out of here. Okay. And take up slack over here. Okay. All right. So now I may have gone a little too far. So I'm going to easy to adjust. Just take that down about a foot or so. over this way. There we go. Alright, that's what I wanted to do. Alright, I'm going to step back here so we can see it. Okay, now I took it from the center. I shifted it about three feet to the left. Okay. 
And the only reason I did that was to show you that this master point is adjustable, whichever direction you need it to go. Um, so the only thing you may need to consider is your angle. Okay, now that's, that's probably right at a 90 degree angle. If you look at our two ropes, that's probably the most you want to push it, ideally. Um, so my point is, you know, your bridal angle matters, okay? So right now, if you look at that, it's about a 90 degree. Take your finger and your thumb. Hopefully you can see that. Um, that's about 90 degrees. We don't want to exceed that, ideally. So, so be thinking about that when you set your ropes over your limbs. But uh, no, that's that's fine though. I'd, I'd hang off that any day, okay? So, um, and again, this is for threading a needle. You have a narrow opening. This is perfect for like if you're doing a rescue over a cliff edge and you're fortunate enough to have a couple of trees near the cliff. Man, it's perfect. You can uh, get you a nice high directional over that cliff and clear that edge of that cliff perfectly every time. Um, if you don't have like something like a artificial high directional. Okay. All right. Well, hope this helps. Uh, and again, if you're not comfortable with one prostic, use two, use tandems on both edges and you'll be good to go. Okay. All right. Hope this helps and uh, I'll see you on the next one.